Determine the recursive formula for the following sequence. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Okay, this looks like a geometric sequence because it doesn't look like the intervals are evenly spaced, which we'll see when we start by taking the first difference here. So the difference between 1 and 4 is 3. The difference between 4 and 9 is 5. The difference between 9 and 16 is 7. And 25 minus 16 is 9. That's the first difference. See, these are not a common number, so that means this is not a linear recursive sequence. It's not arithmetic, it's geometric. Because if we take the second difference, we'll see 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 5 is 2. 9 minus 7 is 2. So that means that um, we're using the second difference, and we're going to plug that into a formula that looks like this. f of x equals f of x minus 1 plus mx plus b. Okay, so that um, this is saying that to get any point in that we're looking for in this sequence, we take the previous point and then we take m, which is our second difference here, so in our case it's going to be 2. We multiply it by the term number and then we add a value b, which we need to find as well. Okay, so we know that m equals 2, so we'll plug that in. Now we need to go and find b. And how we find b is by plugging all the other numbers in and solving for b. So we could do it this way. We could pick any point. Let's pick uh, the 9 here, our third term. So that's going to be f of 3, it's our third term, equals f of x minus 1, so 3 minus 1, plus mx, and again m is 2, and x is 3, because we're looking at our third term in the sequence here. And then we're going to add b. So let's look for b. Okay, so let's start plugging in numbers down here. So f of 3 we know is 9 equals, and then we know that f of 3 minus 1, that's f of 2, well 1, 2, f of 2 is 4, so 9 equals 4, plus 2 times 3 is going to be 6, plus b. So then we get 9 equals 10 plus b. If we do a little rearranging, subtract 10 from both sides, then we're going to get, oops, we're going to cancel out the tens here, and then nine minus negative or nine minus ten is negative one. So that means what we're left with here is b equals negative one. So then we're going to take this, and we're going to plug in a negative one for the formula here. So if we want to write out our formula, then we're going to get f of x equals f of x minus 1, so each term is the previous term, plus mx, and again m is 2 here, so plus 2x, and then plus b, which we found is negative 1, so minus 1. That is going to be how we get from any term, any x term, we use the previous x term, we multiply whatever x, whatever the term number is by 2, subtract 1, and that is how we're going to find any term in this sequence. That is our recursive formula.